The session is now called to order. Everybody is requested to rise for the singing of national anthem. remain standing for a minute of silent prayer and meditation. Majority Leader. Madam Speaker, I move that uh, we call the role of members. Is there any objection? The Chair here is none. The Secretary General is directed to call the role of members. Roll call of members, Honorable Representatives Abaya, Abayon, Abelianosa. Abu, Abueg, Sharon, Akop, Acosta, Acosta Alba, Adiong, Advincula, Agarao, Agabao, Aglipay Bilyar, Albano, Alcala, Alejano, Almario, Almonte, Alonte, Alvarez Franz, Alvarez Mercedes, Alvarez Pantaleon, Amante, Amatong, Andaya, Angara Castillo, Antonino, Antonio, Aquino Magsaysay, Aragones, Arbison, Arcilias, Arenas, Atienza, Aumentado, Bagao, Bagatsing, Bagilat, 
Banal, Barbers, Barsaga, Batawil, Batokabe, Bautista Bandigan, Belaro, Belmonte, Feliciano, Belmonte Jose Christopher, Belmonte Ricardo, Benitez, Bernos, Bertiz, Biazon, Billones, Biron, Bolilia, Bondoc, Bordado, Bravo Anthony, Bravo Maria Vida, Rosas, Bulut Bektang, Cagas, Calalang, Calderón, Calixto Robiano, Caminero, Campos, Canama, Cari, Casilao, Castelo, Castro Prans, Castro Pred, Catamco, Cayetano, Celeste, Serapica, Ceriles, Chávez, Chipeco, Co, Coanco, Coliantes, Cortés, Fortuna, Cosalán, Crisólogo, Cuba, Cuaresma, Cueva, Dalipe, Datol, Daza, De Jesús, De Venecia, De Vera, De Pensor, Del Mar, Del Rosario, De Loso Montalia, Dimaporo Abdullah, Dimaporo Muhammad, Duabit, Durano, D, Elago, Enverga, Erise, Erigel, Ermita Buhain, Escudero, Espina, Espino, Estrella, Eusebio, Ebardone, Pariñas, Fernando, Ferrer Juliet, Ferrer Luis, Periol, Florendo, Flores, Fortun, Fortuno, Fuentebelia, Garbin, García Gwendolyn, García José, García Albano, Garín Oscar, Garín Sharon, Gasataya, Gachalian, Heron, Go Ana Cristina, Go Mark, Gómez, Gonzaga, 
Gonzales Alexandria, Gonzales Aurelio Dong, Gonzales Fernando, Gorriseta, Gullas, Hernandez, Herrera D, Hopper, Alos Jos, Javier, Ko, Konghun, Labad-Labad, Lakson, Lagman, Lanete, Laugan, Lasatin, Leachon, Lee, Lim Kaishong, Lobregat, Lopez Benhar, Lopez Carlo, Lopez Manuel, Loyola, Mahapagal Arroyo, Maceda, Madrona, Malapitan, Manalo, Mangawang, Mangodadato Soharto, Mangodadato Sahid, Marcoleta, Marcos, Marino, Marquez, Martinez, Matugas, Meliana, Mending, Mendoza, Mercado, Mirasol, Montoro, Naba, Nieto, Noel, Nograles, Jericho, Nograles, Carlo, Nolasco, Nunez, Malañaon, Oaminal, Ocampo, Olivares, Ong, Edwin, Ong, Henry, Ortega, Pablo, Ortega Bininola, Pacquiao, Paduano, Palma, Pancho, Panganiban, Panotes, Papandayan, Pichay, Pimentel, Pineda, Plaza, Primicia Sagabas, Kimbo, Radaza, Ramirez Sato, Ramos, Relampagos, Rebilia, Roa Puno, Robles, Rocamora, Rodriguez Isidro, Rodriguez Maximo, Roman, Romero, Romualde, Romualdo, Roque, Sakdalan, Sagarbaria, Sahali, Salceda, Salimbangon, Salo, Salon, Sambar, Sandoval, Sankopan, Santos Recto, Sarmiento Cesar, Sarmiento Edgar Mary, Sabellano, Sema, Xiao, Silverio, 
Sing Son, Swan Sing Israelita, Swan Sing Horacio, Suarez, Si Alvarado, Tambunting, Tan Angelina, Tan Milagrosa, Tan Cherny, Tejada, Tebes, Tianco, Ting, Tinio, Tolentino, Treñas, Tugna, Tupas, Ti, Umali, Unabia, Unab, Unico, Uy Juliet, Uy Rolando, Uy Barreta, Vargas, Vargas Alfonso, Velarde, Velasco, Velasco Jatera, Veloso, Vergara, Villafuerte, Villanueva, Villarraza Suárez, Villarrica, Violago, ay, Villarín, Violago, Yap Arthur, Yap Melesio, Yap Victor, Yu, Zamora Maria Carmen, Zamora Ronaldo, Zarate Zubiri. Madam Speaker, the roll call shows that 220 members responded to the call. With 220 members responding to the call, the chair declares the presence of a quorum. Majority Leader. Madam Speaker, I move for the approval of journal number 59 dated February 6, 2018. So move, Madam Speaker. Is there any objection? The chair hears none. Journal number 59, dated February 6, 2018, is hereby approved. Majority Leader. Madam Speaker, I move that we now proceed with the reference of business and request that the Secretary General read, be directed to read the titles of the bills and resolutions on first reading as well as communications and committee reports. So move, Madam Speaker. Is there any objection? The Chair hears none. The Secretary General is directed to read the titles of the bills and resolutions on first reading, as well as communications and committee reports for referral to the appropriate committees. Reference of business bills on first reading, House Bill 7112, declaring February 4th every year's araw ng pagkatakila ng mga Pilipino na buwis ng buhay noong digma ang Pilipino-Americano, representatives De Jesus and Brosas. To the Committee on Revision of Laws. House Bill 7113, requiring owners of motor vehicles, repair and service centers to register in business with the LTO, Representative Sandoval. To the Committee on Transportation. House Bill 7114, establishing the PUP Santa Rosa branch, Representative Arcillas. To the Committee on Higher and Technical Education. Resolutions, House Solution 1640, 
expressing the profound condolences of the house to the families of PO3 Car Carlos Bogkaig and PO2 Prencel Kitoyan, representatives Bernos and Devera. To the Committee on Rules. House Solution 1641, expressing profound condolences of the House on the demise of Philippine theater, film, and TV actor Mr. Spanky Manikan, representative Bolivares. To the Committee on Rules. House Solution 1642, congratulating and commending Ms. Katarina Rodriguez, representative Bolivares. To the Committee on Rules. House Solution 1643, expressing profound condolences of the House on the demise of Mr. Jose Pitoy Moreno Jr., representative Bolivares. To the Committee on Rules. House Solution 1644, Director of the Committee of Natural Resources to investigate the negative impacts of the mining operations of the Zambales Diversity Metals Corporation, Representative Villarin. To the Committee on Rules. House Solution 1646, congratulating Jerwin Ancajas, Representative Castello. To the Committee on Games and Amusements. House Solution 1647, calling to investigate by the appropriate House Committee on the procurement of Smartmatic Boat Counting Machines, Representative Suarez. A Bayon, De Vera, Chance, and several others. To the Committee on Rules. House Solution 1648, direct the appropriate House Committee to investigate the true state of our country's dry supply, Representative Balejano. To the Committee on Rules. Committee Report, Report Number 599, House Bill Number 7134. To the Committee on Rules. Majority Leader. Madam Speaker, before we proceed with the business for the day, we'd like to acknowledge the guests of the Honorable Estelita Swan Singh, uh, Ms. Lorraine Baligat, Ms. Maricel Banan, Lori Ann Bolilan, Violeta Camacho, Ibejil Casino, Maricel Duldulao, Sara Duque, Jennifer Ferry, Lourdes Fraile, Napoleon Gorospe, Marjorie Lazatin, John Frederick Leabres, Wilbert Macasaya, Elizabeth Navarro, Rosite Novesteras Ramilo, Ginaline Onesa, Herbert Onia, Joven Pascual, Elisa Neralta, Nancy Ramos, J.R. Soriano, Virginia Tabio, Reina Lynn, Tenoria, Roda Orio, Lucila Agnes, and Pinky de la Merced. They are students at the School Legislation of the Graduate School of Finma Araolio University. You are interested to witness how a session is conducted in the House of Representatives. To the guest of Representative Swan Singh, welcome to the House of Representatives. Majority Leader. Madam Speaker, I move that we take up the business for the day. And I move that we take up for consideration and approval on second reading House Bill 7033 under Committee Report 582. And may we direct the Secretary General to read the title of the bill. So move, Madam Speaker. Is there any objection? The chair here is none. The motion is approved. House Bill Number 7033, an act establishing a comprehensive system for registration and licensing of local welfare and development agencies and accreditation of social welfare and development programs and services and appropriating funds, therefore. Majority Leader. Madam Speaker, I move that we recognize the sponsor of the said bill the Chairman of the Committee on Social Services, the Honorable Sandra Erigel of the 2nd District of La Union. So move, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Madam Representative Speaker. Representative Erigel is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to manifest that the explanatory note of the bill be considered as my sponsorship speech. The explanatory note is now the sponsorship speech. Majority Leader. Madam Speaker, I move that we recognize the Honorable Anthony Bravo of Party Lisco of NATCO, who is one of the sponsors of the said bill. So move, Madam Speaker. Representative Bravo is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Good afternoon, distinguished colleague. House Bill Number 7033. An act establishing a comprehensive system for registration and licensing of social welfare and development agencies and accreditation of social welfare and development programs and services and appropriating funds, therefore. Madam Speaker, distinguished colleague, it is my honor and privilege to sponsor House Bill Number 7033 under Committee Report Number 582, entitled as aforementioned. Social welfare and development agencies plays an important role in sustainable national development. 
They deal with the marginalized and vulnerable groups like persons with disabilities, out-of-school youth, women, abandoned children, indigenous people, and victims of natural and human-induced calamities. In time of crisis, social welfare and development agencies, both public and private, provide basic social services and specialized interventions to the beneficiaries to uplift their condition. We have thousands of the SWADAS, government agencies, non-government organizations, faith-based organizations, and the private organizations who engage in a wide range of social welfare and development activities. For non-government organizations alone, it is estimated that we have 60,000 in the country. On one hand, it is a good thing that there is a steady flow of resources and services for the intended beneficiaries. On the other hand, there are also scrupulous groups who hide under the disguise of non-profit organizations doing social and development work, but only after funding and tax privileges. It is for this reason that we now recognize the importance of professionalizing these social welfare development agencies to strengthen the efficiency and effectivity of social service programs. Hence, this Bill 60 established a comprehensive system for registration and licensing of social welfare and development agencies and accreditation of social welfare and development programs and services. We don't want our Kababayans who are already victims of disasters and circumstances to gain full victims to certain groups. Further, the various natural disasters we Filipinos faced in the past have brought us so many learnings. The Yolanda Super Typhoon, for example, has left the country in pieces with thousands of our Kababayans dead and devastated. Billions of pesos of aid came in, but the provision of services to the affected families came rather slow at a time that a coordinated and swift relief and rehabilitation programs were needed badly. We blame the Department of Social Welfare and Development for the lapses and a slow flow of social services to the victims and their displaced families. I guess the lack of an efficient system, together with some limitation in policies, has contributed to such. Madam Speaker, it came to us that there should be a comprehensive system to ensure the effectiveness, efficiency, and accountability in the delivery of quality social welfare and development programs and services. This proposed legislation will reinforce the regulatory functions of DSWD over agencies and organizations engaged in social welfare and development activities, whether public or private. It will also provide appropriate consultative mechanisms and necessary assistance to ensure their compliance with a set of national standards. While we have existing laws, including the Public Act 4373, an act to regulate the practice of social work, and the operation of social work agencies in the Philippines and Republic Act 5416, providing for comprehensive social services for individuals and groups in need of assistance, creating the Department of Social Welfare. These laws lack provisions on the benefit of compliant social welfare organization. They also lack provisions for stronger sanctions for violators. Let me present to you some of the significant provisions of this bill, Madam Speaker distinguished colleague. House Bill 7033 clearly defines what a solid a social welfare and development agency is and also provides its classification. It also stipulates the requirement for registration and licensing of social welfare development agency and accreditation of social welfare and development programs and services. The DSWD will be given regulatory power and functions, will be authorized to register and license social welfare development agency and monitor and evaluate social welfare development agencies. This bill also provides for the grounds of suspension, revocation of license, or closure of airing social welfare development agencies. It also contains penal provision who are operating without license. And lastly, Madam Speaker, distinguished colleague, this bill also grants benefits and privileges to registered social work, uh, social, uh, 
Social Welfare Development Agencies. Exemption from duties on the importation of foreign donations ma made to registered, licensed, accredited uh, Social Welfare Development Agency upon certification of Department of uh, Finance. Exemption from donor tax on all grants, requests, endowment, donations, and contribution made to registered, licensed, and accredited Social Welfare Development Agency to be used actually, directly, and exclusively by the said Social Welfare Development Agency. Madam Speaker, Honorable Colleagues, let me emphasize that the main intention of this bill is to provide the best social services to our Kababayans, to protect them and to empower them. Madam Speaker, Honorable Colleagues, Member of this August Chamber, I ask for your support to this proposed legislation. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Representative Bravo, Majority Leader. Madam Speaker, before we proceed, we'd like to acknowledge the guests of the Honorable Bravo and the Honorable Kanama, both of the Co-op Not co Party list. They are members of the Bagong Lipunan Community Association, or BLCA, of Polomolok, South Cotabato, Narni Sehas, Nimfa Makabenta, Evelyn Ihalo, and Felix Cabuagas, Jr., members of Lorenzo Tan Multipurpose Cooperative, Misamis Occidental, namely Lourdes Solatario, Heidi Trumata, Arsenio Romero, and Rodel Encaliado, plus the 33 members of the Nueva Vizcaya OFW Credit Cooperative. To the guests of uh, Representative Bravo and Representative Karnama, welcome to the House of Representatives. Majority Leader. Madam Speaker, I move that we open the period of interpolation. Is there any objection? The chair here is none. Period of interpolation is open. Madam Speaker, there being no interpolators, I move that we close the period of interpolation. So move, Madam Speaker. Is there any objection? The chair here is none. Period of interpolation is hereby closed. Madam Speaker, I move that we open the period of uh, amendments. Is there any objection? The chair here is none. The period of amendment is open. Madam Speaker, there being no individual amendments, I move that we close the period of individual amendments. So move, Madam Speaker. Is there any objection? The chair here is none. Period of individual amendment is hereby closed. Madam Speaker, there being no uh, committee amendments, I move that we close the period of committee amendments. Is there any objection? The chair hears none. The period of committee amendment is hereby closed. Madam Speaker, I move that we vote on second reading, House Bill number 582. Oh, sorry, House Bill number 7033. So move, Madam Speaker. As many as are in favor of House Bill 7033, you say aye. aye. For those against, you say nay. <laughs> the ayes have it. House Bill 7033 is approved on second reading. <laughs> Majority Leader. Madam Speaker, I move that we designate the following members to the Bicameral Conference Committee on the Disagreeing Provisions of the House Bill No. 6573 and Senate Bill No. 1662, Reprohibiting, Hazing, and Regulating Other Forms of Initiation Rights. Number one, Congress Representative Reynaldo Umali, Representative Vicente Veloso, Representative Strike Revilla, Representative Bernadette Herrera D. and Representative Alfredo Garbin Jr. So moved, Madam Speaker. Is there any objection? The chair hears none. The so named representatives are hereby designated as conferees. Majority Leader. Madam Speaker, in accordance with our rules governing inquiries in aid of legislation, I move that we refer the following House resolutions to the appropriate committees. 
House Resolution 1268 to the Committee on Transportation, House Resolution 1586 to the Committee on Bank and Financial Intermediaries, House Resolution 1587 to the Committee on Banks and Financial Intermediaries, House Resolution 1588 to the Committee on Agriculture and Food, House Resolution 1589 to the Committee on National Defense and Security, House Resolution 1590 to the Committee on National Defense and Security, House Resolution Number 1593 to the Committee on Foreign Affairs, House Resolution 1594 to the Committee on National Defense and Security, House Resolution Number 1597 to the Committee on Labor and Employment, House Resolution 1599 to the, to the Committee on Good Government and Public Accountability, House Resolution 1600 to the Committee on Bank and Financial Intermediaries, House Resolution 1601 to the Committee on Local Government, House Resolution 1607 to the Committee on Basic Education and Culture, House Resolution 1608 to the Committee on Good Government and Public Accountability and Foreign Affairs, House Resolution 1609 to the Committee on Overseas Workers Affairs, House Resolution 1610 to the Committee on Civil Service and Professional Regulation, House Resolution 1611 to the Committee on Transportation. So moved, Madam Speaker. Is there any objection? The Chair hears none. Motion is approved. Majority Leader. Madam Speaker, I move to suspend session. Session suspended.
mag-interpolate si Ma'am Pia sa inyo. Hindi, ito lang mag-interpolate sa akin. Session is resumed. Madam Speaker, to give way to the interpolation of our colleague, the Honorable Deputy Speaker Pia Cayetano, who was busy at the hearing earlier, I move that we reconsider the approval on second reading of Committee Report 582 on House Bill 7033. So move, Madam Speaker. Is there any objection? The Chair here is none. Motion is approved. Madam Speaker, we will be taking up again Committee Report 582 on House Bill 7033. Could the Secretary General be directed to read the title of said measure? So move, Madam Speaker. Is there any objection? The Chair here is none. Motion is approved. The Secretary General is directed to read the title of the bill. House Bill Number 7033, an act establishing a comprehensive system for registration and licensing of social welfare and development agencies and accreditation of social welfare and development programs and services and appropriating funds, therefore. Majority Leader. Madam Speaker, I move that we reopen the period of sponsorship and interpolation on Committee Report 582 on House Bill 7033. So move, Madam Speaker. Is there any objection? The Chair hears none. Motion is approved to reopen for period of interpolation, House Bill 7033. Madam Speaker, for their defense of the measure, I move that we recognize the Honorable Chairperson of the Committee on Social Services, the Honorable Sandra Erigel. So move, Madam Speaker. Is there any objection? The Chair hears none. The sponsor, Representative Sandra Erigel, is recognized. Madam Speaker, for her interpolation of the Honorable Sponsor, I move that we recognize our Honorable Deputy Speaker, the Honorable Pia Cayetano. So move, Madam Speaker. Uh, Rep Deputy Speaker, Pia Cayetano is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. First of all, I'd like to apologize for the inconvenience of having to reopen but just for the record, my name was listed as an interpolator, and I had spoken to the chair and to the distinguished sponsor yesterday that I have some concerns, which I was also open to discussing before the session. Unfortunately, the hearing on uh, the Committee on Population is still ongoing, which is why, uh, as I was um, messaging the, the team of the... Um, Committee on Rules, that I am in the building, but I am in another committee. Apparently, they were already taking it up. So I apologize, but I also need everyone to know that I was ready. I was just in another hearing. So on that note, um, as I said, I was willing to discuss this with the sponsors earlier so that we could um, clarify some issues. But be that as it may, I do want to put on record my major concern. But before I do that, I just have one very general question. What is the primary objective of the bill? Is it to encourage more people to get involved in social welfare uh, programs? Or is it to police and regulate the existing ones and in that manner to weed out non-compliance or bogus uh, organization? Which of the two or both? Just so that I know which direction this bill is heading. Madam Speaker, the bill aims to strengthen the regulatory functions of the Standards Bureau of the Department of Social Welfare and Development over social welfare and development agencies engaged in social welfare development activities. So it could be both um, Madam Speaker. Okay, because, so the answer is both, but in a way you highlighted regulating social welfare and development agencies. I happen to have personal experience and knowledge dealing with such social welfare development agencies, particularly in the, in the caring of children. Uh, these are the, those with licenses to foster care and to place children for adoption. And the problem that we actually have is that it's not with the agencies. It's with DSWD being undermanned 
and undermanned as they are, they require that the accredited social workers of these agencies go through every line, I think almost every officer in DSWD. So if you, the records speak for itself. We have about, some say around 800,000 homeless, abandoned, neglected children. And we place around 300 a year. 300, I think, yung international. I actually don't have the figures with me for the local. But I'm just saying, think of it, almost a million children abandoned, neglected, homeless. And we're able to place, I don't know, kung aabot pa ng 1,000. So clearly, there is something wrong with our system. So if the objective is to further regulate the agencies, even though walang perfect, and of course there is much room for improvement, from my observations, the problem is not there. And that is why I know this bill encompasses more than that, but what I am concerned about is that the general objective is met, and yet we do not have the manpower, and we do not have the system in place to make it happen. If I may continue, I believe no less than DSWD themselves will tell us, the, the, the staff, and perhaps our dear colleagues here can, can, um, can base it on their own experiences. Where have the resources, and when I speak of resources, not just money, but including manpower, attention of DSW bin? Is it not in enacting and making the four Ps efficient? I think it's come a long way. It's, it's improved. Seat mate ko for the last three hours, si Congressman Lagman, of course, from the district uh, of uh, Albay, which was uh, devastated by the Mayon volcano erupting. And he himself said na bilib siya sa commitment ng DSWD in uh, um, addressing these uh, emergencies. But that is what our DSWD does, no? Which, yun nga ang attention nila. When it comes to these children in the streets and the programs we need to put in place so that they are put in foster care homes, that they are put in adoptive homes, kulang na kulang tayo sa tao doon. So when I read this measure, and a lot of times it's unwritten naman, no? At na-address. Pero not having been able to speak to the authors, yun yung concern ko. How do we address this? Because this is a big issue. And I'm afraid that the requirements here to now recognize and register every single foundation will make it more difficult. I'll put on record, I have two foundations. Both are SEC registered. One is DSWD registered and the other one is not. Both fill a need in terms of getting funding and then delivering it to those in needs. What's the difference? Right now, the only difference is for the donors who want to know that DSWD accredited, yung isang foundation ko yon, pero yung isa hindi. So what's the difference? When I asked the chairperson yesterday if it will be a requirement, I believe the answer was yes. And that's also where I have a concern. Because if you will now require all these foundations to register, ang daming requirements nun, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's great no, that we have this database. Pero asan yung manpower to ensure na mapaprocess yan? And in the meantime, can they function? Will they be allowed to deliver the, the, the services that they want to deliver? Yun. So in, in a nutshell, yun po ang mga questions ko. Okay. Madam Speaker, as um, the Deputy Speaker, have uh, aired her concern. This, this is also shared with us, the same concern. But as stated earlier, one of the measures of the bill is the strengthening of the structure of the DSWD Standards Bureau and its field office counterpart, which will be responsible in fulfilling the regulatory functions of the department. Thus, appropriate number of staff complement shall be created in accordance with Civil Service Commission and DSWD existing rules and regulations. Thus, once the bill is enacted, manpower complement will be requested to the Department of Budget and Management. That's great. So, 
do I understand it to be that until that staffing is provided, this bill will not be implemented, the law will not be implemented? Kasi from my experience, that law is considered implemented. Tapos magkakandara pa yung mga staff na siguro limang oras na nga lang yung tulog nila. <laughs> Gagawin pa nating tatlong oras kasi they now have additional responsibilities. Again, I'll put on record, four years ago, uh, in the term of the last president pa, I requested already for the plantilla to be increased and I improved, uh, added, and didn't happen. So, and I know that always an administration has that resistance no, to building more, um, to putting in more people. So, ang akin lang, um, I think I would want a provision there that would say that this cannot be implemented without, without, without um, the appropriate staffing. Yes, Madam Speaker, uh, we can include it in the, as an amendment to the bill at the proper time. Thank you. And then, for the record then, is it correct? Did, did I understand correctly that this will now be a requirement? In other words, this bill provides benefits to organizations who wants to be recognized. Like they will have a, a donor status in BOF. I understand that because malaking bagay yun na hindi ka matatax yung mga donations mo. Pero what if the nature of the service that you provide does not require or you do not need those benefits but you still have to register? Again, I ask these questions because it's another layer of requirements that a well-meaning, um, social civic-minded group would have to go through other than, DS, other than um, SEC. Yes, Madam Speaker, um, this will be included, the no, benefits as well. Actually, my question is, is it required? In other words, if I do not need those benefits, if all my foundation does is I ask money for all my generous colleagues here, and I will give it all to my favorite student uh, athletes, for me, I, I don't need to register. I just want to be able to be a, a uh, conduit of passing on um, the, the resources of one group to another. Will I be required to register? Yes, Madam Speaker, all SWADAS are required to register. Okay, so yun nga. So then I go back to my issue. I don't mind because in the spirit of you knowing what everybody else is doing, I could live with that, but not with the present manpower and the present structure. May I know if there's already a counterpart bill existing in the Senate? Would, you, would, would the authors, uh, the chairperson happen to know if there's a similar... Madam Speaker, we're, we're not aware if there is an existing bill in the Senate. Okay, because um, um, when I was speaking to both the chair and the uh, um, principal author, of course I said I'm more than happy to, to improve on this measure. And I have no qualms working also with the members of the Senate to improve it. My only concern is if we do it at that at that stage, I just want the assurance that if there is a bill, sometimes kasi uh, nag agree na lang in principle and then mag adopt ng, let's say, House bill. And it is not yet at the version where I feel we would maximize the benefits. So yun lang naman. Um, I, 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 my, my choice would be to ask for time to submit my amendments or I could agree to, to making my proposing my amendments later on for your for the um, the bicam representatives to take it up but i just need that assurance that indeed the recommendations that i make would be incorporated because otherwise i would not be able to restrain from from expressing my disappointment in the ability of this bill to be what it could be madam speaker uh, we can include all those um suggestions in the implementing rules and regulations. Uh, that I have well. a bit of a problem with because under the, the, well, the Supreme Court has reiterated that the um, legislators have no say in the crafting of rules and regulations. So even though that is also my go-to, even when I prepare a bill, I would say, pwede na yan sa rules. Pero something as significant as this, 
we, wala kasi tayong say. So, hindi natin pwedeng ipasa rules yon. So, my only, um, the only options we are left with is we amend this at a later time or that you give me the assurance that, um, well, I, I, I would be happy to volunteer to speak to the chairman of the, the Senate committee. But I don't know. I don't know if there's a bill. I don't know. Baka may pinasa sila. Doon lang ayoko lang maipit doon po. Kung may pinasa na sila, tapos mag adapt ang chairman ng isang version na hindi ko pa nakikita. Madam Speaker, we are very willing to sit down with the deputy speaker on this and make all the amendments necessary. Okay. okay. Thank so you, on, Madam Speaker. On that note, um, Madam Speaker, then I'm very happy to uh, make myself available to support this measure and to just propose a few phrases and uh, amendments to some provisions to ensure that it would be a living law and not just a dead law na hindi ma-implement ng DSWD dahil wala na silang manpower to implement it. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you to the generous uh, chairperson and principal author. Thank you too, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Majority Leader. Madam Speaker, there being no more interpolators, I move that we close the period of interpolation. So move, Madam Speaker. Is there any objection? The chair here is none. The period for interpolation is hereby closed. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I move that we open the period of uh, individual and committee amendments. So move, Madam Speaker. Is there any objection? Madam Majority Speaker, leader. motion to suspend. Session suspended. Session resumed. Madam Speaker, leader. Madam Speaker, move that we suspend consideration of House Bill Number Seven Zero Three Three. So move, Madam Speaker. Is there any objection? The chair here is none. Motion is approved. Madam Speaker, move that we take up additional reference of business and direct the Secretary General to read the titles of the bills and resolutions. So move, Madam Speaker. Is there any objection? The chair here is none. Motion is approved. The Secretary General is directed to read the title of the bills and resolutions. Additional reference of business, bills on first reading, House Bill 7116, an act amending Section 96 of Presidential Decree 442, Representative Villarin. To the Committee on Labor and Employment. House Bill Number 7117, an act renaming Inoyonan High School in Barangay Inoyonan, Municipality of Bula, Province of Camarines Sur, Representative Fortuno. To the Committee on Basic Education and Culture. House Bill 7118, an act creating the Philippine Commission on Children, the Representative Sambar Nograles. To the Committee on Government Reorganization and the Committee on Welfare of Children. House Bill 7119, an act regulating the use of cellular phones and similar digital devices in schools, Representative Lanete. To the Committee on Basic Education and Culture. House Bill Number 7121, an act mandating the provision of smoke hoods for emergency use in all high-rise high building structures, Representative Abellanosa. To the Committee on Public Order and Safety. House Bill Number 7122, an act promoting telemedicine, Representative Bilaro. To the Committee on Health. House Bill Number 7123, an act creating one additional branch of the RTC in Quezon, Bukidnon, Representative Subiri. To the Committee on Justice. House Bill Number 7124, mandating the Philippine Overseas Employment Administration to publish, disseminate, and update a handbook on the rights and responsibilities of migrant workers, Representative Pacquiao. 
to the Committee on Overseas Workers' Affairs. House Bill Number 7125, Bandak declaring the last Monday of January of every year a special a regular holiday to be known as National Bible Day, representing Pacquiao. To the Committee on Revision of Laws. House Bill Number 7126, abolishing the Bureau of Customs and creating the Customs Development Authority, representing Castro Fedelin. To the Committee on Government Reorganization and the Committee on Ways and Means. House Bill 7127, amending Republic Act 9502, Representative Romero. To the Committee on Trade and Industry. House Bill 7128, postponing the May 2018 Barangay and Sangguniang Kabataan elections, Representative Panganiban. To the Committee on Suffrage and Electoral Reforms. House Bill 7129, renewing for another 25 years the franchise granted to Mountain Province Broadcasting Corporation, Representative Gomart. To the Committee on Legislative Franchises. House Bill Number 7130, providing for the construction of the Bohol Leyte Link Bridge, Representative Aumentado. To the Committee on Public Works and Highways. House Bill Number 7131, providing for the construction of a concrete bridge connecting the provinces of Bohol and Cebu, Representative Aumentado. To the Committee on Public Works and Highways. House Bill Number 7132, strengthening and expanding promotion of research, basic research, and, ev and evidence or science based policy research, Representative Arcillas, Naba, and Nieto. To the Committee on Science and Technology. House Bill Number 7133, is an act to strengthen the country's gross international reserves, Representatives Alvarez, Fariñas, and Cuba. To the Committee on Ways and Means. Majority Leader. Madam Speaker, I move that we adjourn session until 4 p.m. of Monday, February 12, 2018. So move, Madam Speaker. Is there any objection? The chair hears none. The session is adjourned until Monday, February 12, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Thank you. Always salamat.